Hey there, Samantha Garrett here, and today I wanna to show you how you can automatically close off a Google Form after you have received a certain number of responses or at a specific date and time. So I really love this feature because it means I don't have to remember to go in and close the form at a specific date and time, or I don't have that awkward issue where I've got like 25 places in a session and I forget to close the form or I don't notice that I've had 25 submissions and then more people register and have to be disappointed. So this feature is actually not yet native functionality in Google Forms, but there is a nifty little add-on that you can use to actually do it. So that's what we're going to have a look at today. Now, just before we jump in, I just want to point out that if you're using Google Forms at work or school, in some cases you might find that add-ons have been disabled. Some organizations choose to do that. So um, as I go through the video, I will show you what will happen if it has been disabled for you. And unfortunately, you won't be able to use it, but hopefully you will. So let's jump in now and take a look. Alrighty, so here we are in Google Forms. Now, the first thing we need to do is install this add-on that we need to use. Now, to install an add-on, we come up to the little dots up the top here, top right corner, the More menu, and we pop on down to the Get Add-ons option. So we'll open that up, and what it's gonna do in just a sec is open the Google Workspace Marketplace. And in here, we can search for and install add-ons. So the one we're gonna to use today is called Form Limiter. So I'm gonna search for it, and now that you know what it's called, you can search for it too. So it's this one here. And Form Limiter has been around for a long time. It's by a company called New Visions Cloud Lab. You can see them there. It's very reputable. You'll see it's had many, many, many millions of downloads. It's got a very good star rating. So it's one I really feel comfortable recommending. I've used it myself for many years now. and It is very reputable and very useful. So I don't just install anything from here. It's always good to know a little bit about the background. But this one, I'm happy to recommend. So you'll see I've already got it installed. Um, so if I click on it to open it up, you'll see I have an uninstall option, whereas you'll have an install option. Now, you probably won't have the admin install option unless you're an admin, but you'll just see install and that's fine. Now, if you don't have add-ons enabled in your um, Google Workspace environment, you may either see the buttons grayed out or you may see them and be able to click on them but it will bring you an error when it tries to install it. So if that's the case, you're not going to be able to do this and you can stop listening to me now. Um, but if you do have this option available, awesome, we can continue. So what you would do at this point is you would hit install and you would follow a couple of prompts to give the add-on um, access to be able to use um, Google Forms in your account. So you would go through those steps. So if you want to pause the video now and do that, feel free. Um, I'm just going to jump out of this and go back to this main screen so you can pause and come back here when you're ready. All right, so <laughs> welcome back and hopefully you've got that installed. And what we're going to do now is actually go and use this add-on. So once you've installed your first add-on, you will get a little puzzle piece icon up here on the menu. So on there, you'll see I've got two add-ons, but the one we're going to use today is Form Limiter. So I'm going to open that up. Now, sometimes what happens when you install and use an add-on is you open it for the first time and it just brings up this box that says help. And you're like, what, huh? What, what am I supposed to do? It's actually a little bug. So what you would do is you would just close this, you would refresh your window, and then you are going to try again. And what should happen the second time? Aha, we have another option. So you'll see we have set limit. So I'm gonna jump into that. Now, this little tool form limiter has three different ways that you can set a limit. So a limit is the, the criteria that's gonna automatically close off the form. So you'll see we can do it at a specific date and time. We can do it after a specific number of form responses, or we can do it based on a spreadsheet cell value. So it will actually link to a Google Sheet, and you might have some formulas running in there that are waiting for a particular value, and it will then um, be the limit. Now, after any of these criteria are met, depending on what you set, the form will automatically close and people actually won't be able to fill it in, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you two today. I'm gonna to show you date and time and number of form responses. So date and time is pretty simple. We just choose the date and time when you want to shut that form off. And then you can type a message underneath about what, you know, what they can do now that it's closed. So this is the standard one. You can make that as customized um, as you like. And I do like to leave the option on to email me when the submission closes so that I go, oh yeah, that's right, the form's closed now. So super simple, we can pop in our date and time here. And then, um, so let's just choose a date and then we can choose any time there. And then we would click save and enable. 
Now, if you wanted to do it after a certain number of responses, we would choose this option. So for example, in the form I've got here, which is a training registration form, you'll see each workshop will have a maximum of 25 people. So I wanna close this off after 25. And because, um, because of this particular style, I might actually say here, um, this, you know, this training session has reached its maximum bookings, but you can be added to the wait list if you contact me on this email or something like that. So you can always do that customization. So I'm gonna click save and enable on this one. And in just a sec, it will save. Done, okay, cool. So you can see it's all on there. I can just close that add-on and I'm done. Now, if I wanna go in and check it, I can come back up to the puzzle piece, back into form limiter, back into set limit, and you'll see that my configuration will be there. There you go, what I'd had. And if I wanted to change it or disable it, I can do it from here. So there you have it. There is a very simple way how you can automatically close off a Google form at a certain date and time or after a certain number of responses so that no one else can fill it in and you don't even have to remember to go and do it yourself. So I hope you find that helpful. If you did, feel free to give a like or a comment below and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you're loving these tips so you can get more advice and tips and tricks on using Google tools. That's it from me for now. See you next time.